All right, no filler today. We're jumping right into one of the most dramatic and impressive moments in humanoid robotics so far this year. A humanoid robot was literally shoved, hard, and instead of crashing to the ground like most robots would, it instantly recovered. Not just almost fell and caught itself, but responded faster than a human would in the same situation. Agility Robotics Digit just pulled off a recovery move that had engineers and AI enthusiasts stunned. And it's not a simulation. It's a real-world test with real physics. But that's not all. Because while Digit is redefining what robot reflexes look like, Hugging Face just released something that could make high-precision robotic manipulation accessible to literally anyone. They've unveiled an open-source robotic hand, yes, a full 3D printable multi-jointed robotic hand for under 250 bucks. It's called the Amazing Hand, and it might just be the most affordable and powerful robotic hand we've seen yet. So welcome back, guys. Alfie here brining you two mind-blowing updates. First, Agility Robotics Humanoid Robot Digit has demonstrated reflexes faster than a human during step recovery. And Pollen Robotics, a Hugging Face subsidiary, has unveiled the amazing hand. You're watching the AI Nexus, and as always, we're here to bring you every step of the future. Let's go. So let's start with the story that had everyone on the internet doing double takes. Digit's insane reaction speed. Imagine you're walking through a hallway and someone suddenly shoves you from the side. You don't have time to think about it. You just instinctively try to catch your balance. That moment of panic where your body reacts before your brain fully understands what happened. That's what robots have always struggled with. Because human reflexes are incredibly fast, we're talking milliseconds, and robots, traditionally, haven't been able to match that. Until now. In a recent demonstration, Digit was walking forward when it got pushed with a force strong enough to knock most robots off their feet. But Digit didn't flinch. It reacted. Instantly. Its foot shifted, its torso adjusted, and it stabilized in real time without falling over. And when researchers compared that to how fast humans recovered from similar pushes, they found something wild. Digit actually responded quicker than the average person. We're officially in new territory, where robots don't just match us, they're starting to surpass us in physical responsiveness. That's not just impressive, it's a huge deal for the entire humanoid robot industry. Because until now, one of the biggest reasons why we haven't seen robots working in unpredictable human environments is that they fall. They trip, they overcorrect, or they just can't respond fast enough to sudden changes like slippery floors, uneven terrain, or people walking by and bumping into them. But what Digit just showed is that those problems might be behind us. This isn't some CGI stunt either. It's raw robotics, real sensors, real motors, Real software making millisecond decisions. Digit uses an incredibly tuned system of sensors that give it awareness of its own body. Where every limb is at any moment, combined with feedback from the environment around it. That means it can feel when something pushes it off balance, calculate where to move its foot in a fraction of a second, and execute that motion smoothly without toppling over. And it's not just the reflex that's impressive, it's the reliability. This wasn't a lucky one-time trick. The robot can repeat this step recovery under different conditions, different directions of push, even while carrying loads. That's the level of stability you need for a robot to be trusted in real-world jobs. Whether it's walking through a warehouse, navigating a crowded store, or delivering packages on uneven sidewalks, balance is everything. Now combine that balance with Digit's already well-developed mobility and utility-focused design and we're getting really close to humanoid robots that can actually operate in dynamic environments like a human would. And that's Agility Robotics' whole plan. This robot isn't meant to entertain you on stage. It's designed to work. This demonstration of superior reflexes is proof that Digit is ready to walk into the messy, unpredictable world humans live in and hold its own. And speaking of doing human-like tasks, we've got to talk about the other major story this week, Hugging Face's new robotic hand. Because this isn't some minor update, it's a straight-up revolution in how we think about manipulation hardware. Let's be honest. Robotic hands have traditionally been expensive, heavy, and closed source. Most startups and researchers working on manipulation have had to shell out thousands of dollars just to get a basic robotic gripper. 
And if you wanted something more dexterous, like actual fingers with individual joints, you're looking at a price tag that rivals a used car. But Hugging Face, through their robotics-focused team at Pollen Robotics, just flipped the whole game. They introduced the Amazing Hand, a four-fingered robotic hand with eight degrees of freedom that weighs just 400 grams and costs less than $250 to build. And the best part? It's completely open source. That means you can download the files, 3D print the parts, assemble the hand, and integrate it with your own robot. No waiting for a company to approve your research license. No back and forth emails trying to get a demo unit. Just open access to advanced robotics hardware that you can modify, remix, and improve. And this isn't just a novelty. The amazing hand is capable of gripping objects with dexterity and finesse. You can use it to pick up soft objects, type on a keyboard, manipulate tools. It's built for versatility. And because it runs on Ricci 2, Hugging Face's humanoid robot platform, it already comes with an entire open source software stack that makes it easy to train and control using modern AI tools. This is the kind of tech that makes robotics accessible to high schoolers, hobbyists, indie labs, and creators in countries that typically get left behind in high-tech development. For the price of a smartphone, someone can now build a robotic hand that's actually useful and potentially game-changing. Now imagine what happens when this kind of technology starts being paired with robots like Digit. You've got a body that can walk, recover, and balance like an athlete, and hands that can manipulate objects like a craftsman. That's the dream for humanoid robotics, mobility plus manipulation. And both sides of that puzzle just made a giant leap forward this week. But what's even more exciting is the community impact. Hugging Face's decision to open source this hand isn't just a nice gesture. It's a strategic move to accelerate robotics innovation across the board. The more people who can access and improve these tools, the faster we'll see breakthroughs. Already, creators are taking the amazing hand and customizing it for everything from sign language projects to interactive art installations to prosthetic development. And here's where the two stories converge in a really exciting way. While Agility Robotics is proving that humanoid bodies can be strong, reactive, and stable in the real world, Hugging Face is making sure that those robots can do something when they get there. It's one thing for a robot to walk into your kitchen. It's another for it to open the fridge, grab a bottle, and pour a glass. We're now closing the gap between mobility and interaction. This is where the industry is headed. Humanoids that aren't just cool to look at, but can walk around without falling, grab things without dropping them, and actually help out in meaningful ways. And it's happening faster than most people expected. Not in 10 years, not in five, but right now. So where does that leave us? We're watching robots learn to survive in our chaotic, unpredictable world. Not just operate in perfect lab conditions, but navigate a hallway, carry boxes, grab fragile items, and respond in milliseconds when something unexpected happens. That's no longer science fiction. That's Digit Walking Today. We're also watching AI hardware become democratized. The amazing hand isn't just a product, it's an invitation. An invitation for developers, educators, artists, and young inventors to jump into the world of robotics without needing a six-figure budget. Both these breakthroughs signal the same thing. The walls are coming down, the exclusivity is fading, and robotics is becoming a global movement. Agility Robotics and Hugging Face aren't competing for the spotlight. They're building different pieces of the same future, and they're doing it in ways that inspire community collaboration instead of corporate secrecy. If you've ever dreamed of building a robot that can walk, balance, reach, grab, and interact with the world, your time just got a lot closer. The bodies are getting smarter, the hands are getting cheaper, and the open source wave is pushing everything forward. And just when you think things couldn't get more real world than Digit's next level reflexes and Hugging Face's $250 robotic hand, boom, Tesla drops Optimus into a public diner and a new open source robotic hand with pro level specs enters the scene. Let's talk about it. Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus just got a surprise appearance inside a retro diner. That's right. The first ever Tesla Diner, opening soon on Santa Monica Boulevard, is not only serving food, it might be serving robotic future vibes too. Optimus has been spotted inside, 
casually walking around like it's part of the staff. And this isn't a promo video. This is real life implementation. But that's just one side of the story. On the other end of the robotic spectrum, we've got something way smaller, but no less impressive. A new open source robotic hand called Orca V1 just dropped, and it's making waves for all the right reasons. We're talking 17 degrees of freedom, tendon-based control, tactile sensing, and get this, it's priced at $5,937 for a fully assembled unit. Let's start with what Optimus is doing at a diner. Because this could be much bigger than a simple stunt. The Tesla diner is real. It's located right on Santa Monica Boulevard in Hollywood, and it's designed as a retro-style eatery with a Tesla twist. Charging stations, classic diner aesthetics, and now, possibly a humanoid robot wandering the floor. So here's what happened. A video recently surfaced showing Tesla Optimus inside the diner, walking near the counter, surrounded by Tesla staff. No dramatic music, no CGI, just a robot moving in a very real space. This location is set to open in just a few weeks, and all signs point to Optimus being more than just a one-time visitor. So what does that mean? Elon Musk has said before that Optimus will eventually be used in Tesla factories, homes, and everyday businesses. But this is the first time we're seeing it deployed, or at least tested, in a commercial public space. A diner isn't just a tech showcase. It's a real-world environment, full of unpredictable human behavior. Spills, noise, motion, interactions, you name it. And that raises a big question. What exactly is Optimus doing here? Let's break it down. Optimus wasn't just standing still. In the video, you can see it actively walking, maintaining balance, avoiding objects, and clearly responding to some kind of internal environment model. No visible tethers, no bulky computers trailing behind. This looks like a robot that's actually practicing what Tesla has been preaching. Autonomous movement in dynamic human settings. Now, is it helping with tasks? Probably not yet. It's likely still in testing. But even this kind of presence is a massive leap forward. Why? Because unlike a lab, the diner is a place where real customers will eventually interact. This could be a form of soft deployment, putting Optimus in front of the public in a casual, low-risk environment to gather feedback, test responses, and train its behavior models in the wild. And here's what's most exciting. This could be Tesla's real-world testbed for humanoid interaction. Forget theoretical demos. The diner might be a closed-loop environment where Optimus slowly gets trained to take orders, deliver items, clean tables, or even just entertain guests. Think of it like a humanoid internship before it hits the bigger stage. And if that's true, Tesla just did something massive. Because they didn't release a press statement. They didn't film a promotional video. They just let it happen like Optimus being part of the furniture. That subtlety, it's powerful. It tells us they're confident. It tells us this isn't a one-time thing. It tells us that Optimus in public spaces is closer than we think. Let's zoom out for a second. What's really going on here is Tesla blurring the line between automation and everyday life. You've got EV charging, automated systems, and now humanoid robotics, all in one consumer-facing location. It's a glimpse of the future Tesla's building. One where your Tesla charges outside, your food is delivered by a humanoid inside, and everything from energy to service is optimized by AI. Now, before we jump to conclusions, let's be clear. Optimus still isn't doing complex diner work, but this appearance is likely the start of something bigger, a quiet rollout of humanoid integration into real business scenarios. And that brings us to the question, if humanoids like Optimus are starting to show up in public, what kind of hardware is going to support that shift at scale? Let's talk about the other big story, the Orca V1 robotic hand. The $5,937 humanoid hand with 17 degrees of freedom. Now let's shift from a full robot to one specific piece of hardware that could redefine manipulation for humanoids everywhere. The Orca V1 robotic hand. And this isn't just another 3D printed claw. This is a 17 degree of freedom, tendon driven, tactile sensitive, fully articulating human-like robotic hand. And the best part? It's open sourced for non-commercial use. 
and if you want it fully assembled, it'll cost you 5,937. Let's unpack that, because this might be the most accessible high-performance humanoid hand we've ever seen. Orca V1 is the product of a collaboration between engineers obsessed with biomechanics, tendon control, and real-world manipulation. The goal? To build a robotic hand that mimics the human hand not just in shape, but in function, with flexibility, sensory feedback, and even modular repairability. Here's what makes it different. 17 degrees of freedom. That means every finger can move in multiple ways, just like a real hand. Most robotic hands out there have limited DUFs, often relying on two or three finger pinching mechanisms. Orca can replicate gripping, pinching, flexing, and complex coordination movements. Tendon-driven design. Instead of using bulky motors in the fingers, the Orca uses tendon wires, just like how human muscles and tendons move bones. This approach keeps the hand lightweight, responsive, and more adaptable to complex grasping scenarios. Tactile sensors. It can feel what it touches. That means better control over grip force, object manipulation, and even feedback for AI learning models. Want a robot to hand you a glass of water without crushing it? You need tactile feedback. Orca has it. Poppable joints. This is genius. Instead of breaking when overextended, the joints pop and reset, like Lego joints. That means fewer repairs, longer lifespan, and more resilience in unpredictable environments. And here's the kicker. It's not locked behind corporate walls. The creators have open-sourced the design files, which means researchers, developers, students, or even DIY humanoid builders can access and build their own versions. As long as it's for non-commercial use, you can experiment with cutting-edge dexterity technology right now. And the $5,937 price tag? That might sound steep, until you compare it to what's out there. High-end robotic hands used in prosthetics or industrial robots often cost tens of thousands of dollars. Some even push the 100K mark when paired with advanced AI systems. So for under 6K, you're getting fully articulated, AI-ready, tendon-based manipulation hardware that's plug-and-play compatible with a wide variety of robotic arms. And this is where the conversation gets interesting. Because if humanoid robots are going to function in the real world, like we saw Optimus doing, they need not just strong legs and good balance. They need hands that work like ours. Hands that can open doors. Hands that can handle soft objects. Hands that can repair things, clean surfaces, fold laundry, or even flip a burger. That's where Orca V1 fits in. It's not just a research toy. It's a potential building block for future humanoid arms, especially for open-source robotics developers and startups that don't have Tesla-scale budgets. Imagine this, an open-source humanoid robot with Orca hands and open-weight vision models controlling fine motor tasks, a warehouse robot that can sort delicate items with the same dexterity as a human, a research assistant that can handle lab tools with the precision of a trained technician, Orca makes those ideas not just possible, but affordable. And the release of Orca V1 also sets a new tone in the industry. Because while big players like Tesla and Figure AI are building full-stack humanoid systems, the open-source community is saying, hey, we've got parts of this puzzle too, and we're sharing. That spirit of innovation, whether from billion-dollar labs or community-led teams, is what's going to accelerate humanoid robotics in the next five years. So now, we're at a moment where Optimus is showing up in public diners, and open-source teams are releasing tactile robotic hands that rival commercial ones. What does it all mean? Humanoid robots are no longer locked in research labs. They're entering diners. They're being tested in public. And the components that make them possible, like advanced robotic hands, are becoming accessible to everyone. Tesla's pushing deployment. Open-source teams are pushing democratization. And between the two, we're heading toward a future where robotic interaction feels normal. So whether it's a robot walking down a diner aisle in Hollywood, or a $5,937 robotic hand opening the doors of possibility, one thing's clear. The humanoid revolution is no longer waiting. It's already here. It's learning, testing, gripping, walking, and soon it'll be everywhere.